a lot of it is around player growth in terms of notoriety and hype. It's quite complicated. It's never really been done before. David, yes. I'm not cheap, but I just want to know yeah. where you got that coffee for free. Right, so prep between 10 and 11 today are doing a free iced latte, and all you have to say to the barista is, iced to meet you. Iced to meet you, I can yeah. forget that. Mm -hmm. Are you going to prep as well? Is it, is it like a, it's like a viral thing, but the old fashioned way. It's not no, a... this was on Instagram, that's how people found out. It was out. on Instagram? Yeah. It's what, free iced coffee? Yeah, because then it's spread in the office because one person says free and everyone's like, ooh. So while you're in here, you're like, oh, I might as well pick up my lunch, or I might as well pick up a snack. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm getting a cookie. And between 10 and 11, it's probably their least busy time because you're not getting a coffee in the morning, you're not really getting your lunch. They smash you're it. not getting an afternoon pick me up, so it's a good time to do it. BTM brains. Don't keep that in there. <laughs> what, friends? <laughs> Thank you, Pret. You have fully caffeinated the office. Yeah. Apart from George. There's but... no such thing as a free meal in life. And it's, very true. it's one of those situations. You didn't want to I say to the barista. I didn't want to trade my dignity for an Saying average what? coffee. Oh, this is a soya decaf with a caramel shot. That sounds <laughs> very average. I think congratulations are in order. Well done. Thanks, mate. I don't even know the full um, title. Of the the NatWest Great British Entrepreneur of the Year Awards. 2019 finalist for Young Entrepreneur of the Year. That's it's exciting, amazing. isn't it? Yeah, very exciting. A bit different because normally we put ourselves forward for like entrepreneurs within agency world or media or marketing, and this is kind of like everything. So it's quite nice to be recognised. Uh, do you bank with NatWest? I don't. Wrong I probably, answer. I probably so, should. Do you bank with NatWest? I will be as of today. <laughs> Your problem is that you're always busy. So there's never a good time. Look, Hence, money, money never sleeps. I sleep very fine. That's probably because I don't have any money. What are you working on, Strand Singer? Sam. Strings. Wow. I am working on FIFA E World Cup. Over 10 in game minutes left. The change has been made, I believe, as well. Jock Sam. I'm going. You're going. I was told right. yesterday. Yeah, You're going. We're going together. Yeah, I'm not really sure what to expect. I've never been to a e-sports e event. At the O2? Yeah, at the O2. We're going to sell it out, obviously. You're going to sell out the O2 for an eSports event? Absolutely. I'm just trying to lock in the talent. We've got some gaming guys, we've also got a family we're trying to lock in. A presenter who we need to get. People are really keen to do it because it's such a cool event. Yeah, but a little bit different. I'm Imagine. hoping we might get to play like FIFA 20. That'd be exciting. That'd I don't know sick. if they preview it that early. Um, and who, who would you be playing as? What team? It's Coach United. Right, okay, bye. <laughs> so you've been nominated for NatWest Young Entrepreneur of the Year. Yes. And it got me thinking. Right. Maybe I should try and be more Next entrepreneurial. Year. Next year, you're in. So no, here's my business idea. Just, li you know, because you might want to invest. I, st I don't steal, but I... <laughs> I what a great start. <laughs> I apprehend people's rubbish, because who cares if you go outside and your rubbish bins are empty. And I somehow make bikes out of the rubbish, and I call it recycle. Um, <laughs> but where are you finding all this stuff to build a bike? Like in people's recycling bins. It's like bananas and apples. And like paper. no, that's the food bin. That's that's the thing. They've done all the work for you. Right. And these bikes would only be good for one cycle. Ah. No, but then you'd have to lock it up. Then you can. <laughs> they just throw all this plastic on the street again. <laughs> oh yeah, true. I didn't think of that. <laughs> no investment as of as of yet. No, not today. Okay. But keep trying. I, 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 like, I like the idea of the feature of you trying to pitch me business ideas. Okay. The best thing to do for anyone who's trying to start a business is don't come up with the name first and try and work, try and shoehorn in a business into the name. We've had a few different businesses in which the names had nothing to do with what we actually do. <sighs> so Look, you're going to be cycling on a recycle in a year's time. There's just so many bikes now, isn't there? We're doing, we're doing a great job with Uber Jump. Yeah, um, but there are loads of loads of different bikes. I think it's good. People getting out and about and cycling in London, especially of, of having travelled Europe the last few months, it's far more of a, a push for personal transport, which is yeah. quite interesting. And maybe next year, recycle will be a part of it. Oh my god, I can I can see it. What are you guys chatting? It's a brief that's come to us. A lot of it is around player growth in terms of notoriety and hype. Dan and I's background has always been around football writing. And creating hype online. It's quite complicated. It's never really been done before at scale. But yeah, like it's a really interesting one because a lot of 
a lot of players value right now in the transfer market, despite on the pitch being very important, it's actually marketability outside of that and shirt sales and people coming to the matches, people buying merchandise. So Son um, is obviously a huge player for Tottenham as well because he's exactly right. So Asian market. Yeah, we're just looking at like the science behind it, some examples of where it's happened before in isolation and how that we can actually build a strategy out that's far more widespread than just individual cases. I think clubs have begun to understand the worth of a player. You know, there's more value to a player than just them playing on the pitch, basically. And they can get more from them than what they were getting from them. There's also this really ironic loop where actually paying a lot for a player makes them more marketable. Someone like Harry Maguire, who's going to Manchester United for £80 million, pounds, a lot of money, does he become more marketable because he's now English and he's had a transfer to Man United for £80 million? Pounds? Probably than if he just went there for 25, 30 million because then he's just another player. But actually, because yeah. he's gone for such an amount of money, he becomes quite an interesting media target. It's this weird loop PR. where the PR around that deal is probably higher, right? Because yeah. yeah. if he moved for 30 million, which is probably more what he's worth then. He's not a drink water, he's a drink champagner. Very much so. Is that for me? Yeah. What's in the box? What's, What's in, in the box? The box? What's in the box? It's gonna be another box in the box. It's another box in the box. And another box in the box. We recycle in this company. Good. We don't have to buy them. We, we have free ones. We recycle. We recycle. We recycle. All about recycling. It's almost as good an idea as recycling plastic to make into bikes. Go away and do some work. Thanks for watching today's vlog. Like, comment, subscribe, the rest of it. You know the drill. See you tomorrow.